Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back to conclude Group B. We have three big matches here. As we see Kit Green taking on Team Europe. Lausp going up against Dino Nerd. And Shadow Force taking on Cypher Sky Dragon. Remember, Shadow Force and Dino Nerd already safely through. And it's just a matter of who will join them. So, let's get on with our first match, which is a big game at the bottom between Kit Green and Team Europe. Alrighty then, as I said, this matchup we see Kit Green taking on Team Europe. Up first for Kit Green we have an Alpha Chasmosaurus. It's win or bust for Kit Green. A win here will give themselves a fighting chance again at the group stage. Defeat will all but end their chances. And I should also mention a defeat will also guarantee that Laus and Slifer Sky Dragon will go through. Okay, as for Team Europe in the blue corner we have a Polar Canthus. Team Europe already eliminated, just looking for a bit of pride, going out with a ban. Team Europe may be eliminated, but they can still have a big say in who qualifies. This Polar Canthus could be key though for Team Europe, as it will have the type advantage over all three of Kit Green's dinosaurs. But I will say that Kit Green will have the type advantage over Team Europe's second dino, so the key for Kit here is to not let this Polar Canvas have a big lead. And that is the worst possible start, a Mole Attack. And I think Attack Burst activated as well and I almost fell off of my chip. Ooh, a big lag then. Not a good start from Kit there. We saw what those Mole Attacks did to Dino Nerd. I mean, it didn't help Team Europe win because Dino Nerd won. Oh dear, well, Chasmosaurus is dead. And remember, the attack burst will increase the damage as well. So yeah, it will be lethal for Chasmosaurus. And that is the worst possible start for Kit Green. Oh, but the Chasmosaurus does survive by a sliver. Ooh, a crit though from the Polar Canvas. Team Europe dominating so far. Okay, here comes the MVP of Kit Green's team, the Super Taurosaurus. Awaken mode on free, but watch out for that lightning strike as it does pack a punch, along with its two other moves because Kit Green's gone for all all out attack, which only really gets you so far. You need to have some you need to have like some other moves as well. Oh, here comes the tie. But that will suit the polar canvas more. And well, here comes another Mole Attack. Mole Attack decimating Kit Green's dinos thus far. Of course, Laus... Oh my god, almost killed it! But the hell? I didn't think Attack Boost was that good. Oh, a big hit from the Taurosaurus. And next round, if the Taurosaurus survives, it'll be awakening time. But it will not be surviving, and instead the Polar Canvas will get off a mole attack and give Team Europe a 2-0 lead. This is exactly what Kit Green need, did not want to happen. The Polar Canvas gained momentum and Kit Green falling apart. Okay, as for Kit's third dino, we have a Super Triceratops as well. It's gonna have to not only defeat the Polar Canvas, but it's gonna have to defeat Super Lillian Sternus and Satyosaurus if Kit Green wants any chance of qualifying from the group stage. And that is definitely what he needs, his first hit of the match. Actually no, the Taurosaurus got off a hit. Okay, that's once. Ooh, another lightning strike, Kit Green finally catching onto that mole attack and preventing it from activating. It's twice. Oh, that's a tie. That means Gatlin Spark will get triggered. Ooh, and a Thunder Driver coming from Triceratops. The Polar Canvas finally biting the dust. And next round, well, the round after that, because 
Super Lillian Sternus will come in. It will be awakening time. Okay, as for Team Europe second dino, we have a Super Lillian Sternus. This beast is built for dealing with ties. So Crown of Tempo will... No, um, Kit Green will have to watch out. But it's not over yet because the Super Triceratops remain relatively unscathed against Polar Canthus. And if it manages to defeat the Lillian Sternus, then Kit Green will definitely have the advantage. But that is not what they want. But again, not too much damage dealt. And here comes Awakening Mode. Oh, that's disaster! Big Big blow! And now, all of a sudden, it's awakening mode for Lillian Sternus. Oh, it's game over! Kick green, biting the dust. Well, the Polar Canvas did all the damage, and that is the perfect match to, sh to showcase why it is a bad idea to have all your dinosaurs with the same element. And that has just cost Kit Green his place in the last 32. And, that, well, that's pretty much Group B done now. <laughs> All the other matches don't even need to happen. But we got to got to find out where each team will place. But, yeah, it's all over for Kit Green. But a good win for Team Europe. Right, we'll update the table and we'll move on to our second match. I know I showed Group A as it stands before every... Ever, every match, but I'm not going to do that with Group B because Group B is pretty much done. I mean, it's just coming down to who finishes where now between first and fourth. Anyway, in this matchup, we see Laos taking on Dino Nerd. At first for Laos, we have an Alpha Kentrosaurus. This beast has been key for Laos to get to this position. Okay, as for Dino Nerd in the blue corner, we have a Giganonosaurus. Dino Nerd, I'd say one of the, su the surprise packages of this tournament. I didn't really ex give him high hopes because of all the fire dinosaurs and how many water dinosaurs there are in this tournament. I didn't give Dino Nerd much hope, but they've done well. And Laos, well, it's been mixed fortunes for Laos, but some disappointing defeats, but some good wins. And regardless of the mixed fortunes for Laos, he has booked his place in the last 32 after that previous match. And that's a good start from Laos there and the poison. I still think Laos is one of the favourites for the tournament, but, you know, anyone can falter in the group stage. But, you cannot afford to falter in the knockout round, because once you falter, that's game over for you. But, there's no faltering from Laos so far, as Dino Nerd is feeling the pain. But, a Dino Swing here. Dino Nerd finally striking back. However, very little damage, well, not too much damage was dealt. Here comes the tie. And here comes the spike arrows and a light recovery, which will give Laos a 1-0 lead. A win for Laos here, I think will take them, uh, actually no, a bonus point win will take Laos top. A win will not be enough because... They lost against Shadow Force, who is currently top of Group B and who I think will probably top Group B. Okay, as for Dino Nerd's second Dino, we have an Albertosaurus. This guy's probably been the, the MVP of this team, especially with that critical block there. Doing a lot of damage. And we haven't seen too much of Terry Dino Tepter, to be honest. I mean, we saw what it did in the first matchup. That's pretty much it. Oh, here's a tie. Oh, there's a tie recovery effect there. And that's another tie. Whoa, that's not good for Dino Nerd there. A hit from the Kendrosaurus. And an Earth Barrier to tighten Laos's grip on this match. Ooh, 
Ooh, but this critical block could come in very handy. I mean, the blazing spin won't do any damage because of Earth Barrier. But the critical block could be just what Dino Nerd needs to get back in the match. Boosh, boosh, boosh. Okay, so Dino Nerd will be going Skizzers. And Laos will also be going Skizzers. Ooh, here comes the death grind, and I think Dino Nerd will be even in the score. Well, Laos still has a slight lead, but it is one or piece. As we yet see Laos second Dino, the Eoraptor, what will it be this time? Oh, it'll be an Amargosaurus, and I don't think that's good news for Dino Nerd. Especially if it has Ocean Panic. Which it does. That's very... That's the that's not good news for Dino Nerd. Because pretty much every time it'll be a tie, Ocean Panic will activate. And Ocean Panic has a Shockwave effect which will nullify one of the opponent's moves. Of course, all this only applies if it's a tie and if Ocean Panic actually activates. And, if that's not enough for you, the blunder type there, getting rid of that death grind. Ooh, but this could be this could be a big hit from Dino Nerd though, and a critical block. But, I think critical block might actually help out Laos, because it will guarantee the tie should it be paper. Okay, so paper for Dino Nerd. Oh, but rock for the Amargosaurus Eoraptor. I think Dino Nerd might have just avoided a sticky situation. Oh, he hasn't! He hasn't killed it! But that is not enough HP to survive a tie, which means the, oh, the threat of Ocean Panic has been nullified. However, the, the Eoraptor can still get off hits, though. And there's the defense boost, not that it's going to help. However, the tie will... Oh my god, I thought it wasn't going to kill it then. Is the, is the tie bomb going to go off? I think the tie bomb will go off. Anyway, as for Laos's third dino, we have an Isosaurus. This beast will be at a type advantage against all of Dino Nerd's dinos, so that could be key. And it is quite a strong beast to deal with. And this is an Isosaurus used properly, unlike someone else's. And yep, that is curtains for Albertosaurus. So it didn't really matter that the tie bomb didn't go off because the Albertosaurus is going to die anyway. Ooh, we're all even Stevens. As Dino Nerd's third Dino comes in. That Dino being Dino Tech the Terry. Dino Tech the Goyo. Ta-da! Ooh, it all comes down to this. I think both of our combatants have Dino Stuffer. No, I know Dino Nerd does, but. No, Laos has Water Sword, obviously. Duh. <laughs> Um, I still think Laos has the edge because of the type advantage, but Dino Nerd does have a good move set, so I think we're in for an even match. And if that bar fills up, Ultimate Fire will be a factor. Oh, is that Dino Stuffer there from Dino Nerd stopping the Water Sword and stopping Terry from taking major damage? Oof, that probably would have put his health to about by here, would have done loads of damage. Oh, oh, poop, I clicked paper. Okay, it's a tie anyway, so it doesn't matter. There's another tie. Dino Nerd opening up a slender, slender lead. I mean, I can't really call it a lead, to be honest. And all the more while, that bar is filling up. Ooh, but the Isosaurus gets off that tragic sphere. Oh, never mind, it's Futaba Cannon. God, I don't know any of these moves. 
And that tie bomb will stop Dino Nerd from dealing damage with ties. Well, it won't stop him, but... Oh my god, almost killed it. And actually, it will stop him because even if Terry survives the tie, the tie bomb will finish him off. But a tie is not what not what is he needed as Lousp gets off that hit to finish Terry off and give himself another three points. It's not enough to top Group B, but it is a respectable win and it is enough to go above Dino Nerd and pretty much guarantee a second place finish. Right, time to update the table and we'll move on to our final match of this session and the final match in Group B. Alrighty then, the fin finale for Group B here sees Shadow Force taking on Slifer Sky Dragon. Well, any kind of result for Shadow Force will guarantee that they top Group B, although it's pretty much 99% assured that they'll top Group B. Anyway, as for Shadow Force's first dino, we have an Alpha Rajasaurus. Been very impressed with Alpha Raj so far. Okay, as for Slifer Sky Dragon, in the blue corner we have an Ableosaurus. Been impressed with this guy as well. Why I say there's a 99% chance that Shadow Force is top group B is because if Slifer Sky Dragon X wins 3-0, they will go level with Shadow, Fo with Shadow Force and Laos, but because they beat both of them, Slifer Sky Dragon will be top of group B. Oh, here comes the first hit from Shadow Force. Ooh, sinking in the poison. Shadow Force definitely been a surprise. One of the other surprises in this tournament as well. Been very impressive. Can they go all the way? Can they go far in this tournament? The way they're playing, they can definitely go deep in this tournament. But here comes the Net Crusher. There's a bit of poison there. Ooh, the Abelosaurus though, striking back with his first hit of the match. And it's a Venom fan. Rajasaurus getting a taste of his own poison. Uh, not very much damage dealt, but the Tappy Jara dive there, shaving off a bit more HP, along with the Venom fan poison effect. Ooh, another hit from the Ableosaurus. Slifer Stack Guy Dragon coming back into this match. Oh, there's a tie. And this Magma Blaster will guarantee that Shadow Force will finish top of Group B. I mean, they can still lose the match, but. Whatever happens now, Shadow Force has topped Group B and has won Group B. There's an achievement for you. Anyway, as for Slifer Sky Dragon's second dino, we have an Apatosaurus. And this also guarantees that Laos will finish second as well. And I think... Well, if Slifer Sky Dragon gets a bonus point win, it doesn't matter because they lost the Dino Nerd. So Slifer Sky Dragon will be finishing fourth. Dino Nerd will be in third, Louse will be in second, and Shadow Force will be top. So this match doesn't really, doesn't really matter now, but we're going to have a bit of fun. Well, the Rajasaurus finally biting the dust, and Slifer Sky Dragon X pulling it back. But it's going to be tough, because as for Shadow Force's second Dino, we have a Baryonyx. Baryonyx has been quite effective in this tournament so far for several other combatants, and Shadow Force is no exception. But Shadow Force has gone for more attacking moves. I mean, other Baryonyx is like, well, mine is Super Barry, but mine's more like a technical dino. Gone for more cunning moves. <laughs> Ooh, the Baryonyx getting the first hit. Uh, Apatosaurus has been quite a letdown for Slifer Sky Dragon. It's been nothing but a whoopee cushion. And I think it's going to be nothing but a whoopee cushion again. That could come to cost Slifer Sky Dragon in the knockout rounds. Especially since they will have to face 
someone who has won another group. So they could actually face me. Okay, as for Slifer Sky Dragon's third and final dino, we have Spiny. This beast was quite impressive in defeating Laos. It was qu quite disappointing against Dino Nerd. So it's a bit mixed for Spiny. Can it pull it back for, for, for the Slifer Sky Dragon? Or can the Baryonyx secure a bonus point win for Shadow Force? Well, a tie will definitely suit Spiny because it takes less damage. But Spiny really needs to get hits. And that is definitely not good as the Baryonyx gets off another hit. Oh, here comes another hit. Shadow Force well on top here. Oof, I think the lag's coming back. Good thing this is the last match. Oh, and this Futaba Cannon I think will be game over for Spine. Yep, that's game over for Spiny, and another bonus point win for Shadow Force. So not only has Shadow Force topped Group B, but they've looked quite convincing in doing so. Alrighty then, time to update the table and we'll end the session. Well, look at that table, look at Group B, you have Shadow Force well on top in Group B here with 16 points, after 4 bonus points. Actually, I think they got a bonus point win. In, I think all their wins were bonus point. Uh, oh, no, they got a losing bonus point. And we have Lauspin second on 12 points after three wins and three bonus points. Dino Nerd in third with, and with again, three wins but only two bonus points. Shows how crucial the bonus points are. And then we have Slifer Sky Dragon X scraping through on seven points. And this definitely shows how crucial bonus points are, because that one single bonus point has assured Slifer Sky Dragon's place in the last 32. Because if they didn't get that bonus point, Kit Green would have gone through, because Kit Green defeated Slifer Sky Dragon. But instead, Kit Green and Team Europe will both be eliminated. Uh, yeah, definitely an interesting looking Group B. So, let's have a look at Group A real quick. So the possible matchups could be Shadow Force taking on Ultimate Dino King, Laos going up against Ibuki, Tor taking on Dino Nerd, and myself taking on Slifer Sky Drive. I mean, that could be a possible matchup. That's not the actual match. But anyway, stay tuned for next time, where we'll conclude Group C. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.